Our visitor research from the demographic standpoint is very straightforward, is to find out our share of the travel market, quantify the number of visitors who come to Maine, um, ideally identify what they spend, um, and then kind of do a profile of them. So we do everything from why they're coming to where they come from, um, what their experience was like, will they return, and things of that nature. So DPA is our research firm in Kennebuck, and again, they, they did this presentation at the Maine Woods Consortium Retreat last year. Um, I just extracted some slides. The full report is available on our website, but just to go through some of this, um, overnight leisure visitor demographics for the Maine Woods actually tend <coughs> to skew a little younger and um, a little bit of a lower household income than our average visitor overall or our visitor to the coast, which isn't really much of a surprise. Um, the leisure visitor residence for our overnight visitors into the Maine Woods area, primarily the same as anywhere else in the state, Massachusetts and New York, um, although we tend to see a little bit higher overnight visitation from Mainers themselves in the Maine Woods region. Um, and then additionally, Ontario and New Brunswick which is interesting. The reasons for selecting Maine. Um, this skews a little bit higher in the Maine woods than in the coastal regions. Um, they have relatives here. They're visiting friends and relatives. They own a second home, <coughs> close to home, um, and then scenery, and then they're here for specific outdoor activities. So the spending, um, spending is pretty similar across the board, quite honestly, because those that are coming into the Maine woods are actually spending a little more on recreation. Um, and that goes to lift tickets, to guiding, to rafting trips, snowmobile rentals, things of that nature. So the spend is a little bit higher in the Maine woods on recreation than those folks who are headed to the coast. Repeat versus first time, you tend to get more of a first time visitor. That goes to the younger visitor too. Younger visitors were working very hard to attract those, but as it takes a little while for them to do the full repeat, they tend to bounce around a little bit more. Um, but yeah, the, so that ultimately will lead to good repeat. The tenancy, there is paid accommodations in the airport <coughs> as well, but the main woods, again, skews higher for folks that stay in unpaid accommodations, um, which is interesting from the economy standpoint. So they are staying in friends' houses, they're staying in the second homes or cottages. Um, they're doing wilderness camping. I mean, really right out there on the campsites that are open to the public. So it's, it's a little bit different than those that are coming to the coastal areas. Primary regions of visit. We try and really delve down into this question, but I would say it's hard to identify that it's specific to those regions. Um, the visitor still is grappling with what the regional names are over time. So, you know, you, you try and identify the towns they've been to to get a sense of what regions they've been in. <coughs> Primary purpose of visit, um, overnight, over outdoor recreation. So, uh, touring comes in at a, at a second, but a pretty much smaller second. So, you know, almost 40% of the people coming to the main woods are coming for outdoor recreation. This is comparison of Maine to other destinations. Um, this actually is internal to coastal destinations and also other destinations in New England. Um, as far as the Maine woods go, the two things that do come out is the perception is the quality of dining and the variety of activities are less than other areas that they would normally go to. So those are two things to think about as we go forward. And then this is, I put this in so if people do pull a handout, they've got it written. But um, the summary again that uh, they tend to be more frequent travelers, which is good uh, because I think that has to do with the connection to family and friends. Um, they're engaged in specific outdoor activities, more of them than their coastal counterparts. Um, they do tend to give a little bit lower ratings for the breadth of activities and for the dining. Um, overall, spending is about the same though. Can you uh, drill down a little bit on the quality of activities? What does that mean? It's the breadth of activities. So there's great outdoor recreation, but then there's not a whole lot else to do. So it's, it's kind of that full experience. Mm -hmm.